In this video, we're going to go over font sizes, and I'm going to teach you about classes. So let's go over font size first. Say we want to change the font size for our header 1, header 2, or our paragraph. Usually your default size is 16 pixels for your paragraph. So going down to P, if we type the property font size and set the value to be 16 pixels, save that and refresh, you're not going to see a change. Now let's change the font size from our default 16 pixels, which will most likely stand for the value medium. Let's change it to small. Now when we refresh the page, you can see that our font size is now small. There's also large and larger, along with other values. This was set to a default of 16 pixels. If we wanted to double that, we'd simply say 32 pixels. And if you notice, 32 pixels is actually the same exact size as our header one. One of the downsides to using pixels though is that it's a static value. So when you set it to be 32 pixels, it will always remain 32 pixels. That's when relative values are helpful, such as percentages or Ms. So let's go over those. We knew that H1 was 32 pixels, so that was double the amount of P, which was set to 16 pixels. So if we go to font size, doubling that amount would be 200%. So you will not see a change when I refresh the page. So 200% was doubling our default value. M's is another relative measurement. So 1M is the default, which was 16 pixels in our case. 2Ms would be doubling that 1M, so doubling the 16 to be 32. And M is EM. So when I refresh that, it's still not going to change. So if we wanted to triple it, we would write 300% or 3M. And you can see that our original 16 pixels tripled in size. Now let's say I want the font size for H1 here where it says CSS tutorials to be larger, but I want this to remain at that 200% or that 32 pixel value. That's where we're going to use a class. So let's erase our font size to get everything back to where we started. How to write a class is very similar to what we've done for H1, H2, and P. So in our style one sheet, I'll go ahead and bring this to the center so you can see. We're going to create our first class and let's call this class large. Classes start with a period, type the name of the class, open bracket, and go ahead and close the bracket. Now for large, we want the font size to be, let's say, times 2.5. So 2.5 Ms. So we're going to say font size 2.5 M. Go ahead and save that. When we go back to our file, nothing will change because we haven't used this class in our document yet. Now we only want to make the first H1 bigger, not the second H1. So only the first H1 will have the class large. So in the first tag where it says H1, you're going to type space class equals quotation large, and then you're going to close that quote. Go ahead and save, 
And now, when you refresh this page, CSS Tutorials, the first H1, became bigger. And that's because we set it to 2.5M. So in this video, you should take away how to change the font size based on a static mode, which would use pixels, or relative, where we use percents and m's. And you should also know how to write a class and how to apply that class to a given tag. Remember to click the like button if this video was helpful and subscribe.